Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Blockchain Silver, where we try to analyze what in the world is going on in crypto. Today, I want to talk about the K wave, stands for Kondratiev. Uh, it was invented, or I guess, well, it probably already existed, but Nikolai Kondratiev. Uh, found this out, uh, make a long story short, Stalin employed him to, Stalin wanted to know if capitalism would make it or not, and so he employed Kondratiev to study it, to figure it out, and then give him a report on it, and what Nikolai Kondratiev found out was that uh, capitalism goes through a four-phase cycle, uh, much like the seasons of a year, spring, summer, fall, and winter, and that you could apply this to the economy, and it was a long 80-year cycle um, back then. I think now it's going to be more like about a 100-year cycle, but it, it, it about mimics the lifespan of a human being. Uh, most human beings only see one of these seasons throughout their lifetime, and so what I'm doing is I'm applying wave theory, Elliott wave, to the K wave and we can see some similarities. And so standard Elliott wave is one, two, three, four, five, with the A, B, C correction. And the C correction should be at or above the wave one. Um, so to start this off, uh, we gotta go back a little bit from here. We go to 1929 which would be the peak of the stock market bubble. And from there, that was the last Kondratiev winter. Uh, the winter is the bad, that's the bad, that's the rough time, that's the depression. And so the last winter, starting in like 1929 or 1930, and then ending sometime around the end of World War II and the, the beginning of Bretton Woods, this all happened at the same time. Um, the last Kondratiev winter would have been about 16 years, give or take. And then each season from here, uh, lasting about roughly 15 to 20 years. Uh, so we, the new spring, the new Kondratiev spring, uh, starting in 1945, going to 65 um, then we got the Nixon shock here in 71. We come off the gold standard, so spring. Then we go into summer, 1971 and 1981. Also, precious metals do good during the summer and the winter. Uh, so 1971 to 81, we got the Kondratiev summer. Um, then from 81, there was a recession last and then we had the agricultural recession all those ended like in 85 86 and then from there it was boom time all the way up to 2000 and so that would be spring summer fall and then from 2000 we had a recession the dot-com uh, bubble burst went down to 08 that we had the financial crisis. Then from there to like 2017, 18, tell from the real estate markets. Um, everything has been okay. It slightly went up. The stock markets went up. Everything's been pretty steady. And then I'm thinking here soon, in the next year or two, um, this could even be 2019 maybe, but uh, somewhere here soon, I think we're going to have something where precious metals are going to start to go up. And we could have maybe a currency crisis. And then we're going to come into the new digital standard, I believe. Um, about the year 2025, 20, 2030, we're going to see something. Uh, will it be Bitcoin? Who knows? Will it be a, a Fed coin or just some coin that maybe doesn't even exist yet? You know, I don't know. Who knows? But um, new monetary standard at the end of a, of a Kondratiev winter. And there's a good likelihood of a new monetary standard at the end of the next Kondratiev winter. So that's it, folks. Take all this with a grain of salt. This video is just for fun. I'm just a guy that I post videos, and I really want to see what this will turn out to in the future. So have a good one, and happy investing. We'll see you.